Here's how to get Civit AI API key. You'll want to start by opening civitai.com in whatever browser you're using. If you've never made an account there before, you'll see the usual sign-up screen with a bunch of different options. They've got Discord, GitHub, Google, Reddit, or just plain email if you prefer that route. Any of these will work fine, and they all lead to the same setup process. The onboarding thing they put you through has a few steps, but nothing too complicated. First thing is accepting their terms, just the standard legal stuff. Then you add your email and pick a username, followed by some content preferences, where you can choose what kind of models and artwork you want to see. There's also this buzz step at the end, but honestly, you can just skip that part by hitting done. Once that's finished, you end up on their main page with all the featured models and community posts. Look for your profile picture up in the top right corner and click on it. A little menu drops down and you want the settings option. It's got a gear icon next to it. The settings page has several different sections, and if you scroll scroll down a bit, you'll find the API keys area. There's a blue button that says Add API Key sitting in the top right of that section. Click that to start creating your first key. A pop-up window appears asking what you want to name this key. Pick something that makes sense for whatever project you're working on, maybe testing stuff, or my app project, or whatever. Helps you remember what it's for later. Hit save when you're ready. Here's where it gets important. Civit AI shows you the actual API key right after creating it, but this is the only time you'll see the full thing. Make sure you copy it using that little copy button they provide. Store it somewhere safe, because you'll need this exact key every time you make API requests to their system. You'll need to refresh your browser to see the new key show up in your list. After refreshing, scroll back to that API keys section, and you should see your key listed with whatever name you gave it, and when you created it. If you end up needing more keys for different projects, just use that same add button. And if you want to delete any old keys you're not using anymore, there's a trash can icon next to each one. That's basically it.